Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you Social Bot. This one does a lot of things inside of it. So you got a Messenger Bot, you got a broadcasting tool for Messenger, for SMS, for email campaigns, you got our reply for Facebook, for Instagram, and many more things inside of it. So in this video, I'm going to cover a quick overview of Social Bot. So let's jump over to the dashboard right now. All right, guys. So this is where I connected my Social Bot, just to show you a really quick fan page that I have right here. It's called Content Creator. And what I've done is I've connected social bot inside of here just to show you a quick things that you can do with it. So first off, I have the get started button. If someone wants to message me now, I can disable or enable this button. But in this case, it's enabled and it has a get started message. So there we go. It grabbed the name and this is what I'm using, right? So Leslie Vimi, that's the um, Facebook page that I'm using. Well, profile. It's my wife's and it sent me that message, right? And I've, I've added some social triggers, some text triggers. So it auto responds depending what I put. So if I say hi, hello, and all of that, it will be responding with an image. So if I say hi, it's going to load in. It's going to put in an image. Now this could be used for multiple things. Um, one of the things I like to use social bots for are for restaurants because I can send over the menu with just saying the keyword menu. For example, I say menu there. And it's going to give me a message and a menu link. Now this looks really simple. You can have more buttons. You can have a longer message. You can have multiple message and buttons and you can do so on and so forth. Right. But that's just to show you really quickly what you could do with it. You can also do an auto reply for posts. So for example, right here, let's just say you made a social ad, a post ad right here on Facebook and you need to auto respond. You know what? I've sent you a messenger with uh, all the information or just say whatever, right? So I can, in this case, I just set up a random message that if someone messages me, it's going to auto comment right here. So you can see right here, I just got a message that it told me that the fan page just commented me. So I'm going to refresh this right here. Remember, that's the message you are seeing. And here it is. Hack. Hi, Leslie Vimi. Now I did that with social bot. Now let's jump over to the dashboard. And this is social bot. Now social bot is based on a script. But the good part about it is that it's backed up by these guys from Zap Apps. You can see right here, zapapps.io. They are the, the creators of this one. So they are the ones maintaining it, updating it, and revamping the script even more. So in this case, you can save a lot of time by buying from them instead of buying your own script and doing all the things. Trust me, setting up APIs takes a lot of time. I have done it and it's just a lot of messages back and forth and set up with this. Well, with this, you can save time. Plus it has a really great price. So that price will be in the link in the description. So check that out. Okay. This is the dashboard. First thing you're going to see is that you got some quick tutorial videos right here. I recommend you watch them because they're going to show you step by step what to do. And in this case, it's just an overview, like I said before. So you got some quick statistics right here from order statistics. You got last seven day subscribers, 24 hours interactions, subscriber data, male, male versus female subscribers, latest subscribers. Well, that's just me testing this right here. Subscribers from different sources. So where are they coming from? And last auto reply. So this is really good that you have that information there because you can go check it out by clicking on the comment ID and go seeing what's going to happen. Completed bulk messages, upcoming Facebook post messages. You can also schedule posts right here. And like I said, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Okay. First thing you got to do is obviously connect your Facebook account, right? So that's the first thing you got to do. And once you connect with login with Facebook, you just got to log in and accept SAP apps to have access to it, right? So they, it can do all the functions to it. So you got the fan pages right here. You got your Facebook groups right here and you got to connect what you want to use right here. So I've connected the fan page that you saw me testing right now. We have also the automations right here. So these are the automations for Facebook and we have the common templates that you can create right here. So for example, if I edit this one, it's like, hi, thank you for commenting me. Is that just something I created? So this helps you auto comment really quickly and really fast. So it makes it easier for you. And like I said before, if you're making an ad and you are selling, I don't know, houses, right? You're going to send, you're not going to send all the information in the comments. You're going to say, hi, how are you? Your first name, last name. And I've sent you all the information by messenger, right? And you can have something like that, an auto reply like that, or just say, thank you for commenting, right? You got the reply templates right here that you can create. So I created the thanks one. Let me edit that one right here. And this is the one I created right now. Now I can, 
I can delete or hide comments that are offensive right here. So for example, let's just say you have some obscene words like, I don't know, body parts that you don't want to show or just cuss words and you can hide them or you can just delete them. So it's just, you don't want to deal with them and that's not what you want. You just delete, right? And if you hide them, well, you can later see if it's something that you want to show again. You can have the keywords right here separated by comma. Select the message templates. Once you have them added, you can select that right there. You can set, do you want to reply this multiple times? So in this case and for this video, I said, yes, I want to reply multiple times because I'm doing testing. But in some cases, you only want to reply one time. So if the user sends a lot of messages, you don't want to reply the same thing over and over again. So you might want to turn that off. You can enable the comment reply, comment by page, all that information there. What you want to put right here. So in this case, it says, thank you for commenting. And I use the lead first name. I can also add the last name and tag user right there. And in this case, I sent a image right there. So that's what I did for the messenger, right? You can select that template, save it, and you're good to go. So basically, it's easy to create these templates and later use them, enable them, disable them, delete them, and just whatever you want to do. Automation campaign right here is, for example, I have two pages connected and this is one of them. And I have the automation campaigns right here for, for example, auto reply enabled on post, auto comment enabled on post or tag reply post. Now I can edit the page reply right here. So for example, I've already created one and it says just hi and that's all it's going to do. And I can edit that. And again, if I have, for example, a certain post that I want to auto reply something, I can hit the little gear button and I can enable it or disable it or leave a comment right now with that one. I can also add the campaign ID right here. So for example, well, the post ID. So every time that I create a post and it's not there, I can add it by that way. Let's go back right here, the tag campaign. So once you create the tags, you can create campaigns right here. You got the reports for all that right there. So they got the auto comment report. Let me show you really quickly what that does. And this is the one that it does for avatar and replies sent, the, the status is live. And the post ID was this one specifically. So there we go. Those are the testings that I've made. And that's it sent me right there. We have the comment automation also for the Instagram. So um, this has to be connected with your fan page. So your Instagram has to be connected with that fan page that you're using. So in this case, I connected a fan page. The content creator page is connected to my Instagram page. So that's why that way I can use it. But if the Instagram page is not connected, then you won't see it here. So just heads up with that. Now, this is my Instagram fan page. If you guys want to follow me, just let me know. Hit me up with a comment. Say you found me on Sats Master and I'll follow you back. So it's J-E-A-A-8-8, -A -A right? And we can also do the auto comment reply also right here. Now, this could be useful or not, depending if you use this for a personal use, then you might not want to do a like automation. But if this is for a business, then yes, this will save you a lot of time. Again, you got the little arc here gear button right here. You can enable auto comment reply, leave a comment now, check all comments, disable comments on Instagram and the analytics for that one. Next thing we have is the subscriber manager. So right here is where the subscribers are. Every time someone's comments, it turns into a subscriber and you can view them right here. Sync subscribers, bot subscribers, label and tags and view all of that. Then you have the email subscriber external right here. So you can create the contact group, contact book, the email phone opt-in form builder. And like I said, it does a bunch of stuff, right? Messenger bot information right here. So this are this is like the bot settings right here. Let me go into actions. And this is where you would create the most of the bot actions on the messenger right here. So for example, this is the bot name that I call this Johnny and menu and whoa. Now, these are the keywords that I've used. So remember, I tested for you high and I tested for you menu. And I think I didn't test the whoa one. No, let me do whoa. Enter. And that should send the other message. And I just put thank you for saying whoa. And I'm just saying a little laugh out loud, right? So I've created that one and I can create more if I want. So add a reply right here. Just call it what I want. For example, test two keywords that they're going to use for this to activate and send that message. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know what, if they say price or send me the price, then that's going to send it. If I comma, it's going to be, for example, prices, something like that. Now you can reply by text, by image, audio, video, file, quick reply, text with button like the one I show you. You can add more buttons. 
generic template, carousel, media, and one-time notification. This one's really useful when you just want to send one time, right? Correct. Get started settings. So this one's a get started. Remember I said you can enable or disable that get started button once the user starts. So you can disable that if you want. But if in this case, I have it enabled and it starts off with this message right there. And I can grab the first name and last name. So it puts it in the message, gives it a little personalized touch. General settings. So right here, you can connect with MailChimp, Send in Blue, Active Campaign, Mautic, Zelly, SMS integration, email integrations, and a bunch more, right? Action button settings. So you can set these right here. So for example, get started template, a no match template, so on and so forth, a birthday quick reply template, and all of that. The persistent menu is that little menu that you have on the messenger. This one right here, I think I haven't enabled it, but I would have that menu right here. This is really useful when the messenger bot is really complex and long. You can have that little persistent menu to say, you know what, just start over again. Or you can add the website to go to website and so on and so forth. Um, sequence message settings. You can have the message settings right here by sequence and create that sequence right here. This will create it a little bit more complex right here. So you can see 24 hour promotional. So you can send message by times right here. And this is one of the fan pages. This is another one um, that I've connected, but that's a separate thing. We have the broadcasting settings. So you got the subscriber broadcast. So people who are subscribed with Messenger. Again, you have this right here, non promo with tags, 24 hour structure message broadcast. All right. So you can't send over 24 mess, 24 hours. OTN subscriber broadcast. You have your SMS broadcasting. You can use Twilio, which is super popular. There's Plivio, Clicktail, Nexmo, and you can add your own API if they provide it by adding it right here. And by that, you can start off your SMS campaign right there and SMS templates. So you can send out SMS by connecting your API to people who have subscribed and gave you the phone number if you have that list. And you also have the email broadcasting. Again, you can add your own SMTP, Maildrill, Mailgun, SendGrip, and just add the API right here. The most popular one would be SMTP, right? You can use your own from your hosting plan. You can start off the email campaign by going right here. Oh, new email campaign. And you have the settings right here for the email campaign. So it's campaign name, email subject. You have the rich, rich text editor that you can just do this right here. Or you can use the drag and drop one right here. So you can select a template once you create it. Or you can create a brand new one right there with the drag and drop. So that might be an easier move or maybe you just want to send a simple message with the rich text editor. The email API that you're going to use, I haven't added any, but you will see them right here once you add it. You can set an attachment, broadcasting subscribers, email counter, and you can send it now or schedule a time. Now, once all this is done, you can view this, the results of this, like who opened it, who like clicked on a link, was it like, did it bounce and all that, and you have all that information. You also have SMS and email sequence campaign for external contacts. And next we have an email e-commerce store. This is where you would add your products and you can actually sell products through the messenger by adding them all right here. So you got the categories, attributes, products, and you can add more right here. So if I add a product, we have all the information like the store, the category, attributes, product name, original price, sell price, all that good stuff right there. Okay. And next thing we have is social posting. Remember I told you you can schedule post. Well, you can do them right here. You got media, multimedia post, a CTA post, carousel video post. You have the social poster you can import from social text poster. And again, you can add, for example, the text link image. You can schedule these right here. For example, over here, create a new post. You have the information right here, campaign name, message, post page, and apply template if you like, post group and create the campaign. You got links, images, and video, and you have a preview on the right to view them. And there's some utility tools right here, like search tools that you can view. For example, website comparison, if you wanna use that right there, and there's a hashtag search. Plus, there's also an interest explorer that you can use. Um, this has a Google Sheets integration, and heads up, it also integrates with Pavly Connect. Now, if you don't know what Pally Connect is, I recommend you check out the video that I'll leave the link in the description. So basically, SocialBot does a bunch of stuff that is really useful 
to automate things on Facebook, on Instagram. And if you want to use it for social posting, for the email campaigns and SMS campaigns, that works really great. And like I said before, this is based on a script. But the good part about it is that they improve the script, plus it's backed up by these guys. So that's a good part about it. Now, if you want to do this by yourself, you can go ahead. But trust me, it'll take you a lot of time. It'll take you more money. Plus, you have to pay for host monthly hosting and you update it yourself. And you have to act, go and ask for it, um, Facebook for the API process if you want to update it and add it over there. So it's, it's complex and this saves you a lot of time. So if this is the route you want to go, this is a really good option for you guys if you want to use SocialBot. Well, that's all. For now, my name is George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.